Hello and welcome to the Apache Kafka course, Learn Apache Kafka with Conductor. My name is Stefan Merrick and I will be your course instructor. So first I want to introduce the course to you. Please do not skip this lecture as I will go over some very important information. So just a little bit about me. My name is Stefan and I'm the co-founder of Conductor. So if you don't already know me, here is a short bio. So I was on the Kafka Summit Program Committee in 2019 and 2020. This is the Kafka Conference organized by Confluence. I'm also the author of the training series called the Apache Kafka series, where you can learn Apache Kafka in depth, but we will learn everything we need to know about the Apache Kafka to get started in this course. I wrote some blogs on the Confluent blog and on Medium as well. When I was doing consulting, I did a lot of production deployments of Apache Kafka for various clients in different industries, including some Fortune 500 clients. So you can find me on various different websites, such as GitHub, LinkedIn, Medium, Twitter, and Instagram. And so welcome to this course again. I'm very pleased to be teaching this to you today. So what are you going to find in this course? Well, we're going to obviously learn Apache Kafka. That includes topics, producers, consumers, and consumer groups. Also, brokers, operations, administration, and security, as well as the Kafka Extended API, such as the Confluence Schema Registry, Kafka Connect, Kafka Streams, and KSQL DB. We will be starting a Kafka cluster with one broker and also with multiple brokers. We'll also include a schema registry, Kafka Connect, KSQL DB, etc., etc. So this is something that you will not see online very easily. So I'm very happy to show you this through this course. And finally, because this is a course in partnership with Conductor, you're going to use Conductor with your Kafka cluster. And so in this course, we are going to learn Apache Kafka with Conductor. That means that we will not use the CLI commands of Apache Kafka in this course, except in one place when we start dealing with consumer groups. The idea is that through this course, we want to show you how easy it is to learn Apache Kafka, but also how easy it is to use Apache Kafka with Conductor. So... If we take a summary, we'll learn about a Kafka cluster. We'll start with one broker and we'll learn about topics, partitions, replication factor, um, partition leader and instant replicas and the offsets topic. We'll learn about producers such as key-based ordering and act strategy. We'll learn about consumers such as consumer offsets, consumer groups, consumption strategies. We will learn about multi-broker Kafka clusters. So adding broker 102 all the way to broker 109. Uh, but we'll have three brokers in this course. Uh, Zookeeper, we'll learn about it at a very high level, but Zookeeper is about to go away, so we don't want to linger on it too much. Then we'll obviously learn about Conductor, about how to use it with your Kafka cluster. Then we'll learn about all the extended APIs, so Schema Registry, Kafka Connect, and KSQL DB. And obviously, Conductor works with all of those, so we will learn how to use these products alongside Conductor. So I've been mentioning Conductor a lot in this course introduction, so what is Conductor? Well, Conductor is a desktop graphical user interface GUI for Apache Kafka. This is what you're seeing on the screen on the right-hand side. And we see it in the, in the plain mode, but also we have a dark mode if you are working at night and want to have it easy on your eyes. And so Conductor will allow you to perform all your Kafka development and operations you'll ever need all from one tool. This is our promise, and this is what we're working towards and it is already extremely feature complete. It supports all kinds of Kafka clusters, as well as all kinds of security mechanisms, making it super easy to work against any kind of setup. And also it supports all the Kafka community projects, such as Kafka Connect, Kafka Streams, Schema Registry, and KSQL DB. So that's it for this course introduction. I hope you're very excited. I definitely am excited to teach you this course. So let's get started and learn Apache Kafka with the Conductor.